To say that the Apostle Paul thought highly of Epaphroditus would be something of an understatement. In Philippians chapter 2, he refers to Epaphroditus in relation to himself as my brother, fellow worker and fellow soldier. He was a man who had laboured and struggled alongside the Apostle, standing with him shoulder to shoulder in some of the particular battles of Paul's life and labour. In relation to the church in Philippi, he was your messenger, the one that they had sent to be a minister of mercy to the Apostle Paul. And then in relation to both, he was the one who ministered to my need, who'd brought that gift from Philippi in order to assist the Apostle. But Epaphroditus had genuinely suffered in serving. He had been brought almost to the point of death and had been wonderfully restored in the kindness of God and now the Apostle Paul is sending him back to Philippi and he instructs them in verses 29 and 30 of chapter 2 of Philippians, Receive him, Epaphroditus, therefore in the Lord with all gladness and hold such men in esteem because for the work of Christ he came close to death, not regarding his life, to supply what was lacking in your service toward me. Epaphroditus was a Christ-like minister. In the work of Christ he came close to death, not regarding his life. Epaphroditus was not a man given to trying to protect himself, not always trying to reserve something in case it was needed somewhere down the line. When Epaphroditus saw that there was a genuine need and he judged it proper, he laid himself out sacrificially. In serving Christ, he was serving like Christ. He was serving like the Apostle Paul himself. He had been brought almost to the point of death to supply what was lacking in the service of the Philippians toward the Apostle. He had willingly given of himself. And when the Apostle sends him back to the Philippians, he is to be received in the Lord with all gladness, and they are to hold him and others like him in esteem. Now here is a reminder of what we can and should expect of those who serve in ministry. They are to be Christ-like, Christ-minded men. They are to have this sacrificial disposition. If this is something that you have as your calling, then you should expect to be laying yourself out. And there will be times when, if not even physically, then inwardly you might feel that you are coming close to death. It might be the death of your reputation, it might be the, the death of what you hoped would be your usefulness. It might be the, the death of some particular sphere of labour. But if you're going to be faithful, it will be costly. And if you are served by such a man, you should anticipate that it will cost him something so to serve. There may be sickness and sorrow that comes in upon someone who is serving and striving faithfully on behalf of Christ. And what then can you and I do when we know such men? Perhaps it's our own uh, elders, perhaps it's our own deacons, perhaps it's some other faithful servant of Christ in the congregation. What should we respond to these men? Well, we should receive them with all gladness. We should be delighted to see such people. They should cause joy in our hearts and we should, in a righteous way, celebrate the gift that Christ has given to us and such men are to be held in esteem. It's very easy especially today to be dismissive perhaps especially because we don't see all the work that is being done but if you have servants of Christ among you who are serving, striving and struggling who are suffering perhaps even to the point of sickness or sorrow without or within, it is right that you should hold them in high regard. Notice it is not so much their great gifts that you celebrate, as their Christ-like grace that you recognise, that you understand that these men are laying themselves out for the cause of Christ and for the sake of his servants, ministering to you and others in order that Christ might be glorified. 
often going above and beyond what might be uh, obviously required of them in order that Christ might be honoured. They do it not for applause, but it is right that they should be esteemed.